In a moment, I'm going to show you the absolute best way to upscale a very low resolution image. As you can see, we have a very pixelated image of this girl and the final result looks a lot better. And I'm not only going to show you how to make the image look a lot better, I'm also going to show you how to upscale it even further to have an even better looking image. Here you can see that the input image is very small and very pixelated. The size is only 300 by 300 and it's about 150 kilobytes large. Now, as you can see, the upscaled image looks a lot better. You can see that it is a lot more detailed and a lot sharper. And here you can see that the image is 1024 by 1024 now. So in just a moment, I'm going to show you how to do this yourself using ComfyUI. So first of all, I want to show you how to run this upscaler in the browser if you don't have access to ComfyUI or a good graphics card. So all you have to do is come to this website that I'm gonna link in the description called FluxDev Upscaler Control Net. Just click over here and select an image that you want to upscale. I'm gonna go with this image of a girl. Over here you have a couple of settings like the amount of steps, the upscaler factor. This is going to upscale the image by a factor of four. You can set this to whatever value you want up to four. I'm gonna leave it as default. The control net conditioning scale, you can leave this by default and the seed, you can set this to whatever you want. So after we got all these settings done, I suggest leaving everything by default. All you have to do is click run and wait a couple of seconds for the thing to process. And over here, you can see the results. As you can see, it upscaled it quite a lot. You can see that it added a lot more details, even details that weren't there before, such as these hair strings over here. But overall, it looks pretty good. Keep in mind that this image was quite low resolution. You can see that it was very low resolution. And if we take a look at the size, as you can see, it is a very small image in terms of size. So given the fact that the image was so bad, so low quality, this upscaler is quite amazing. So if you don't want to use it in the browser, because sometimes it might give you an error, depending on how many people are using it at the same time. Now I'm going to show you how to run this model locally in using ComfyUI. I'm going to link this workflow in the description. And if you see any errors or any red nodes over here, all you have to do is go to the manager and hit install missing custom nodes and update all. After that, you should go to the other link in the description and download the Flux Control Net Upscaler. It will bring you to this Hugging Face page. And over here, just click on Files and Versions and download this Diffusion PyTorch model. Click over here. Go into your ComfyUI folder. Models. And Control Net and you should save this file right over here. I recommend renaming it to something like Lux Upscaler or anything like that. And after that, just click save. I'm not gonna do that because I have already downloaded it. Now, moving over to ComfyUI. Over here, you can see that I uploaded a very low resolution image of a girl. Before you do anything, you should make sure that you have Flux1 Dev selected, FP8 E4M. Over here in the dual clip loader, make sure that clip name one is set to this one, FP8, and clip name two is set to clip underscore one safe tensor. And make sure that the type is set to Flux. This should be set by default, but if you don't have it set by default, then you should go ahead and change these values right over here. Over here, we have the control net apply as D3, and by default, the strength is set to something like 0.6. You should play around with this and see which value works best for your image, but usually this one should work pretty well. Over here in the load control net model, make sure that you have the flux control net upscaler selected, the one that we just downloaded, and you should leave everything else the same. Upload your file and just hit QPROMPT. Now, when you first run this, it will take a couple of minutes to load the model into the RAM. And afterwards, the generation speed should be quite fast. As you can see, the model loaded into the RAM. I almost forgot to mention, make sure you set the amount of steps to 20 and the CFG to 1. And if we take a look over here in the command prompt, you can see that it's generating at quite a fast speed. Usually when I'm using Flux, it takes about 4 to 5 seconds per iteration, but using this workflow, it only takes about 3 seconds per iteration. And over here, we can see the results. This is the 
image that we uploaded. As you can see, it's very blurry, very low resolution. And this is the upscaled version. You can see that it really did wonders, even though it might not look exactly like the previous image. I mean, the one that you uploaded because the amount of details was very low and it needed to generate some more details in order to upscale it. Now, the image I used for this example was very low resolution, as I showed you before. And the upscaler upscaled it up to 1024 by 1024. But if we want to upscale the image even further, you can use this upscale image uh, using model node and this upscaler model. You can select which model you want. If you have other models downloaded, I'm going to use the Omni SR X4 model. And this is going to upscale the image even further to make it very high resolution. As you can see over here, it sharpened the image quite a lot and also added some more details to fine tune the image even further. Let's go ahead and try out a couple of other examples. As you can see over here, we have this blurry image of a cowboy, which is also very low resolution. So I'm just going to hit Q prompt and see how quickly it manages to generate the new image. And as you can see over here in the console, you can see that the generation speed increases with each step. You can see that this number keeps dropping, meaning that the image will generate even faster than before. And this is the result. As you can see, the new image looks really good. Even though if you look over here, you can see that some of the details have changed. Like his jacket doesn't really look the same anymore. But let's try out the cowboy image once more. But this time I'm going to lower down the strength to something like 0.3 and let's see how that affects the final generation. And as you can see, the image looks even more different compared to the previous example. So lowering this value will lead to more extreme changes in your image upscale. Now let's try it again, but this time with a high value, something like 0.8 and see how that works. As you can see, the result looks more similar to the original image, but it is also a lot grainier and the quality is also a bit lower. So it seems like leaving this to 0.6 is probably the sweet spot for this workflow. Here's another example of a picture of a dog. As you can see, it added more details and it made the image a lot sharper. Now, the images that we have previously used were very low resolution images. We're talking like 300 pixels by 300 pixels. But this one is actually a 1024 by 1024 image. So let's see what happens if we use an already high resolution image. As you can see, the generation speed is still quite fast. It's almost just as fast as using some way lower resolution images, which is quite impressive, honestly. And as you can see, it did add a bit more details to the image, but it also made it a bit noisier and maybe a bit blurrier. Ideally, you should use this model when you are working with some very low resolution images like I showed you previously, but it can also work on higher resolution images, though the results may not be quite as impressive. Here's another example of a picture of a bear. As you can see, it added more details, but it did not necessarily make the image look better. I tried generating the image again, and as you can see, instead of upscaling the image it just changed the details so ideally you should only use this upscaler when you are working with some very low resolution images like i showed before and if you want to upscale an image that is already quite high in terms of resolution i recommend using the standard upscaler in comfui over here you can see that we simply added a load image node an upscale image using model node and a load upscale model node and we are using the image comparer over here. And over here you can select whichever model you want. Normally I'm using the 4X Ultra Sharp. And as you can see, it sharpened the image quite a lot. If you don't like your image to be this sharp, you can use this model called Omni SR X2. You can see that the image is upscaled and it's not overly sharpened. Now, let's say that you want to use an image that is not a square like we have used before. This image is a portrait image. You can see that it is taller than it is wider. And leaving everything else by default, I'm just going to hit Q prompt. And as you can see, it upscaled the image without any problem. But let's take a look at what happens if we try to upscale an image that is in landscape format. So over here, you can see we have a landscape image. 
everything else is set as default and if we click Q prompt and go into console as you can see the generation speed is very slow this number is very high it takes about 15 seconds per iteration and this number will only go up so essentially it will take forever to upscale a landscape image like this but don't worry if that happens all you have to do is cancel the generation and over here in the image resize just set the width to 1024 and the height to zero and i'm gonna click q prompt again and as you can see by switching these two values the generation speed is a lot faster so keep in mind whenever you want to upscale a landscape image to set the width to 1024 and height to zero and whenever you want to upscale an image that is either a square or it is vertical uh, set the width to zero and height to 1024 and here is the result Another way to upscale an image that is already quite large is by using this website called BigJPEG. All you have to do is select an image, click over here on start and select the upscale that you want. Now if you want to upscale it to something like 8 times or 16 times you will have to pay for an upgrade but you can use the 2x or 4x for free so we're just gonna hit 4x for this one and as you can see it starts to upscale the image. Now I'm just gonna click download real quick save the image and as you can see it upscaled the image quite well and that's it a simple way to upscale low resolution images and turn them into very high resolution images if you have any other suggestions leave them in the comments and i hope you like this video and i'll see you in the next one